Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and let's continue to, to learn Google Plus for your business. So on my previous uh, videos, we've been talking about different methods to get more uh, interactivity uh, on, your, on your content. Uh, let's look at another method. So if you go up to the menu, we have something called events. So an event is something that you set up to create uh, a moment in time for your followers or for people to gather together and share. This is for a way for your followers to get to know each other. Now I have one here just as a test, but I'm going to create a brand new one. When you get to this screen for the first time, your screen may look a little bit different. It may give you sort of a, a preview of what you can do. But I've got at the top here, plan a hangout or create an event. Again, we'll talk about hangouts a little bit later. So I'm going to select create event. We have a bunch of options here. It's very straightforward. We have uh, we can change this header image, change the theme, maybe give me stuff about parties or travel, etc. Uh, so I saw one a moment ago I liked here. I'm going to go back. Here we go. A lot of baked goods and such. The event title, I'm going to say this is uh, Sunday fun day cookie day or when you set this up something less saccharine perhaps um, we have when are we gonna set this up at well we'll say it's today it might be short notice but we can set this up in a variety of, uh, of future dates 7 p.m. that's fine of course you can set whatever time you want start time end time I'm gonna say yeah our cookie day will go from today until the end of the day which will be will make it 11:30 p.m. Location is optional. Details are optional. If it is happening at a physical location, um, or your event identifies spiritually with a physical location, we can do that. Let's say that we'll be um, online, yes, but we also want to be at the uh, we're going to be at the San Diego Convention Center. So select that. That way people have um, a map that they that will guide them to the event. Details. We're going to say, when is, when is it not? And actually, I'm going to check here if we can do styling. Not sure. When is it not a good day to celebrate cookies? Join your fellow... Now there's various names for people that are on Google Plus. Uh, one name that you could use are G Plusers. You might be a G Pluser, so join your fellow G Plusers at the San Diego Convention Center to eat cookies, talk cookies. Live cookies. Free cookies for all who attend. Now, who do I want to see this announcement? We've got a, a, a familiar two uh, window or two option here as before. So, uh, for the moment, I, I'm going to say set this to your circles, public and extended. I don't really have any followers yet, but I do remember I, I can also target communities and um, specific um, circles. Actually, I'm going to try a different tactic here. What I'm going to do is target one of these communities. Um, I'm going to target the baking community. Then it asks, once you've targeted baking, it asks other features that you might want to set, such as event options here. Pretty straightforward. Guests can invite other people. Sure, the more the merrier. Guests can add photos. Yes, I want people to interact and add content. That'll possibly then create more interaction. Hide guest list. That's off by default. Notice it will not show the other people that will have, who have accepted this invitation. Advanced. Um, this will change me over to create a hangout, which I'll look at in a different video, so we'll do that later. And more options. So look at that. I can set up what's a website everyone can visit. Optional, but I'll say 
Victor's Bakery dot com slash blog slash um, what did I call this again Sunday fun day this assumes of course I have a a um, a website already uh, a landing page as it's known in the business ticket seller I'm not selling any tickets but I can put an address there I might have video uh, videos from previous events that I could uh, funnel people to or I might have actually a separate YouTube page where I'm holding a live stream let's say we have that transit and parking info um, Oh, please validate your YouTube URL. Well, I won't be able to do it at the moment, but let's say I have a YouTube um, video actually here. That's not a valid address, but let's say I have a YouTube video itself, I guess, not a stream. Well, I guess I, I would get an address for the stream. I, I don't have one, so I won't add it. Transit and parking, this is optional, simply a way that says uh, uh, valet parking and street parking is available valet and uh, street parking available so I will invite and then what happens is this um, this brand new um, event is created uh, th those that I've targeted will get a notification then they can click the link and come here and they can mark will they be coming yes maybe no how many guests they'll be coming with their names will be listed there um, various details of it visit the official site who's coming what communities invite more etc so the point of this then is I get an event going and I can then get people to I can get people to to come to the actual event either uh, virtual or real post content and then um, create interactivity and this is a cool thing to do especially if you've already got followers if you want to uh, create an event for them so uh, more ways that we can use Google Plus for your business in the same video, in the next video. So come back for that.